to my channel for those of you that are new here my name's Chantelle and welcome I'm super stoked that you've joined me in today's video and would love it if you'd hit that subscribe button because it does really support my channel and I want you to be the first to know when a new video goes live so don't forget to hit that bell also um, but in today's video I thought I would run through my morning uh, routine with you and my morning skincare routine just so you guys can see what I get up to. If you don't know, I actually work Monday to Friday in an office, so I try and condense my morning routine so it's quick and easy and gets me out the door as soon as possible. But um, as you would have seen, I've already had um, a nice big cup of tea because, well, your girl needs all the help she can get getting out of bed um, and a nice big bowl of porridge. I try to start the day with a nice wholesome breakfast. So normally something like porridge, muesli or eggs, something along those lines just to keep me nice and full throughout the morning. Um, today is actually Friday and I am normally in the office um, but my miniature schnauzer Elvis had an operation yesterday so I'm just taking the time off to chill with him today. Um, but yeah, I, as you would have seen, I got up around about half seven. I normally get up around about um, 5.45, so a little bit earlier um, on a normal working day. But as I'm out of the office, I thought I'd run through my routine with you. And as I said, I tend to do this every single day. So I finished up with my breakfast and I do need to go jump in the shower because as you can see, it's not looking great. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna go jump in the shower in a, in a moment and then I'll be running through my skincare routine with you um, but I'm just gonna about to take my morning vitamins I tend to take um, a couple of vitamins just for general well-being um, but yeah 
filled up my chilies bottle this is the 750 ml one um, i try and drink at least three of these a day just because i do suffer quite bad with migraines and when you're working at a screen all day you need all the help you can get and it's also really good for your skin as well so i do try and drink as much water as possible so i filled up my chilies bottle i'm just gonna take oh I'm just going to take my morning vitamins, so I do tend to take, and I've been taking these for the past probably month and a half, so I've been taking vitamin B, vitamin D, magnesium, and I've also been taking a vitamin called biotin, which research suggests is actually really good for your hair, so I'm giving it a go, and I mean anything that's good for your hair, your girl is definitely here for it. So I'm going to quickly take my vitamins and then I'm going to go jump in the shower and then we'll run through my morning skincare routine. See you in a bit. When you're next to me shower my hair is washed and dry feeling a lot more human right now so anyway i've popped my hair up on my head so i can run through my skincare routine with you um this is my pretty much everyday uh, morning skincare routine as i said i tend to work in an office monday to friday so i like to keep my morning skincare routine as simple as possible because your girl doesn't have time to be faffing around with lots of different products and waiting for things to sink into her skin so yeah, we like to keep it nice and simple. Um, I do tend to use slightly different products on an evening, products that are a little bit more rich. Um, but yeah, if you want to see my evening skincare routine, then please let me know in the comments below and I'll get that filmed for you. So yeah, the first um, product that I wanted to show you guys was the Nip Fab Vitamin C Cleanser if it focus um i really love this cleanser it smells absolutely amazing um and it just makes your skin feel super bright um and super fresh once you use it um so yeah really really loving this so yeah i just wet my face i take two pumps of the cleanser rub it in just rub it in between my hands and then smother it all over my face I try to avoid my eyes just because I do have really sensitive eyes, so I don't want to get any product in my eyes. But yeah, I just rub it in to my skin. Honestly, it smells so good, so orangey. I honestly feel like I could eat it. So yeah. And then I just rinse that off. I actually really like some of the Nip Fab products. I think they're really good and super affordable. So yeah, really loving that cleanser right now. Um, so I use that pretty much every single morning. So the next product that I like to use is I like to put a moisturizer on. I try not to overload my face with products in the morning because, well, yeah, as I said, I like to keep it nice and simple. So the next product that I use is a moisturizer and I'm currently using the Olay Total Effects 7 in 1 um, Anti-Aging Moisturizer with SPF 30. So I just take a small pump of that, probably not even a full pump, half a pump, and then I just dot it on my face. A little bit on my neck and then I just rub it in again super simple just a nice moisturizer um, because it is SPF 30 it is quite rich but I do find that it tends to sink into my skin quite quickly so yeah just keep me nice and hydrated anti-aging because well your girl is turning 30 and she needs all the help that she can get um, yeah just an all-round nice moisturizer um i do tend to swap my moisturizers out because i like to see what works good for my skin but right now this one is working quite well um and yeah it's quite reasonable to buy um, i do also like the um olay whip um but 
that one is slightly more expensive and this one is just as good so yeah moisturizer is done um i then go in with an eye cream again this is actually an ole eye cream so again it's the same um it's the same brand so it's the ole total effects seven in one transforming eye cream no so it's not gonna focus so i just take a little dab on my finger and then i just dab it under my eye area and just continue to work that in to the eye area until it's pretty much disappeared. Um, and I do find this eye cream tends to absorb again relatively quickly. As I said, you know, I don't want a product that's going to sit on my skin or affect any other makeup that I might put on that day, such as like my concealer. So this does sink into your skin relatively quickly. And it just, you can see, it just brightens up your eye area. I do tend to suffer with dark circles, just to think it's a bit, a bit of bruising. Again, I do find that when I drink more water, they're less prominent, but as you can see, completely freshens up the eye area. And the amount you use, this will last so long. Um, I'm then going to apply the Estee Lauder Daywear Multi Protection Antioxidant Sheer Tint Release Moisturiser on top of what I've already got on. I tend to use this as a tinted moisturiser because it does tend to adapt and just brighten up your skin a little bit more. Um, this has got SPF 15. This one is nearly running out, so I am due to get a new one. This is a little bit more expensive, it's about £40, but the amount that you use, this will honestly last you probably best part of two months, if not longer. I can't even remember when I last bought this, but I tend to use this over wearing foundation. If I'm not going out out, then I will use a tinted moisturiser instead, just because I don't really want to overload my skin with products. But yeah, so I'll then use this and then use a little bit of concealer just to brighten up the eye area even more. But I tend to just take a pea-sized amount. So if I just, about that much, just pop it on my hand. And again, I'm just gonna dab it round my face. You don't need a lot of this. Well, I definitely don't need a lot of this just because I can be quite oily sometimes. But then I'm just going to rub that into my skin and it will literally just even your skin tone. I absolutely love this moisturiser. Um, and it's got SPF 15, so even more SPF coverage, which I think, as I said, I'm turning 30. We need all the help we can get. So I want to protect my skin from any sort of skin sun... Ugh protect my skin from any sort of sun damage although it's not sunny in England whatsoever right now but it's always important to wear SPF and if I can get it in my moisturizers or my tinted moisturizer then it means I'm buying less products and spending less money so yeah and as you can see my skin just instantly looks so much more brighter so much more fresh absolutely love it now normally i would um, use a concealer um, and then put some powder on just to set it but um, i'm not going into the office today so i'm just going to keep it pretty simple i've put some tinted moisturizer on um, so this is me for the day um, pretty much makeup free um, but yeah just looking a little bit more fresh a little bit more alive um, i'm not even going to do my eyebrows because i just want to keep it super chill so lastly, I'm just going to give myself a little spritz with the Mario Baduscu, I can't say it, um, but the facial spray with aloe, herbs and rose water, really love this. So yeah, just use this again just to freshen up my skin, but yeah, really, really pleased. My skin is just looking super fresh and super bright and just ready for the day. Um, I'm at home chilling with Elvis, um, so I've got to pop out soon to take him to the vets, but yeah really really happy with that so guys this is my morning skincare routine um as i said um i do try to keep it as simple as possible when when i'm especially when i'm getting ready to go into the office um i will tend to put a little bit of concealer on do my eyebrows and just set it with a bit of powder just so it lasts me throughout the day but yeah this is pretty much me ready to go 
so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then please give it a thumbs up because it really does support my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button as i've mentioned before and if you do want to see any videos in particular from me then please let me know in the comments below but until next time guys i will see you later bye